What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a brand new slime video for you and I'm super excited. I've never done one of these like pigment mixing videos before. I have seen these pigment mixing videos everywhere so I am really excited. If you're excited as well, don't forget to give this video a big slimy thumbs up for me. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel to become a unicorn. Here are the unicorn fam shout outs for today. Thank you all so much for being here. I love you all so much. You already know what it is. What's up? If you would like your comment shouted out in one of my videos and make sure you comment down below hashtag unicorn fam and also make sure you are subscribed and you could be in my next video who knows so all of the pigments today that I'm going to be testing in some clear slime, they were actually sent to me for free from Solar Color Dust, so I am super excited to actually try them out. They have a bunch of really cool pigments. They have different pigment powders that like change color like due to heat or when exposed to sunlight. It's super, super cool. They have a bunch of different kind of things, so I'm really excited to see what they sent me. I will definitely make sure to include links down below for Solar Color Dust so you can go ahead and check them out and you can go ahead and buy some of their pigments as well. If you like slime, then you're going to love it. Y'all, I am super excited to test these pigments so let's get started shall we Alrighty, so the first pigment that we're going to be testing out today is actually a glow-in-the-dark pigment, which I think is super, super cool. As you can tell, it already looks like super, like, neon and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that into the slime and see what we get. Now obviously in full daylight with full lighting setup you won't be able to see the glow in the dark so here is a clip with the lights off. Now I know it looks super low quality and I'm sorry about that it's just because there's not enough light but it's totally glow in the dark and it's really crazy. This actually glows very very bright and you can even see it in a dim lit room which is pretty cool to me I think. Alrighty, so next up we're going to go ahead and try this Ultra Thermal Dust. Apparently that changes color, so this one changes from like a red to a yellow color. As you can see here, the powder actually really does like actually like activate, I guess you could say, with heat. So that is pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and test it out on some clear slime and see how it looks. You can see here that the powder looks red, but whenever I touch it with my fingers, because the heat of my finger, it actually turns like a golden yellow color. It's super, super cool. I actually really love the shade of red that this color is. I actually really do enjoy it. The only thing I don't like about this particular pigment or the thermal dust, whatever it's called, is that it doesn't change color like when it's put into slime. Like, you know what I mean? Like with your fingers, you have to put a lot of heat on it. And I guess like the warmth of my hands was not enough. So I went ahead and I went in with the blow dryer and it actually started to change color to what I thought was super, super cool. And it definitely made up for the fact that it wouldn't change color with my hand. I will say that while the color change is like a drastic color change, it definitely doesn't last that long. As you can see here, it's only been a couple of seconds of me playing with it, and it is already back to like the original red color. So that was also kind of a letdown as well, but I think it's still super, super cool and very unique. Okay, so next up, we're testing another ultra thermal dust. This one is a purple to blue, so I thought that was super, super cute. By the way, y'all, if I sound weird again, I am so sorry. I'm just trying not to cough. I think I'm getting sick again. Like, literally, I'm not, like, my body is not letting me catch a break. I'm sorry about that. But as you can see here, this pigment is really, really cool. It does the exact same thing where it changes from purple to blue. And I think it's really, really cool. Let's see if it actually changes, like, with my hands when we mix it into the slime. You know what I'm saying?
So as I was playing with the slime with my hands, it was not changing the color, so I went in with my handy dandy blow dryer here, and it did change color. Like I said, and with the other one, I guess they're all the same. I guess it's like, it says 86 degrees Fahrenheit, I believe is what it has to be, and I personally thought that my body would be warmer than that, but I guess not, so I mean, yeah. I really love this color combination, however, I just wish so badly that it would react with just my hands. Like, who has time for a blow dryer? You know what I'm saying? Like, I want it to change color while I touch it, but, I mean, it's super pretty regardless. Alright, we have another Ultra Thermal Dust here. Let's see if this one is going to come through. This one is an orange to yellow shift, and I thought that looked like macaroni and cheese. I don't know about y'all. Or maybe like a Starburst or something. I don't know. I went from like one extreme to the other, but whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. And yet again, I was finding that the color activation was not doing it for me with my hands only. So I had to go on with the blow dryer again just to, like, to show you all the actual color. I don't know if it's just like me. Maybe if the slime was too cold because it's cold outside right now. I don't know what it was. But it was definitely not changing colors with my hands. So I went in with the blow dryer. One thing I can definitely say for sure about all these pigments that I've tested so far is they are gorgeous in the slime. Like, they look so good. I just wish that it was a little bit more drastic, like, with the color change and everything like that. Like, yeah, the color change is amazing. I just wish it was a little bit easier to achieve that and you didn't need a blow dryer. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so the next three that we're going to be testing, these are actually like UV reacting colors. So they actually change colors due to the sunlight or due to like the ultraviolet rays of the sunlight. So I thought that was super cool. So we're going to go ahead and test all three of these out. This one here, I believe, is the peach one. This next one is a blue to purple UV shift, which I think is super, super gorgeous, and I really want to stock this time in my shop. I think it came out amazing. And lastly, this one is the, like, pearl to red kind of color shift. So it looks like white or almost like pearlescent. And then it shifts to red once exposed to the sunlight for a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that. I'm going to put all of the slimes on my windowsill for about five minutes. And then I'm going to show you how they look right after. Alright, so I put all three of these slimes under some UV light, I guess, right by my windowsill for about five minutes each, and this is how it came out. I was very, very impressed with the pearlescent colors because those really changed. However, the blue to purple one, you can't really tell just because the blue and the purple shades are so close to each other. You can't really tell unless it's in person. So this one here is the peach one. This is the first one that we went through. This one, I think, has the most drastic color change, and I think this one's gorgeous. It actually reminds me of, like, a gummy candy for some reason. I just really I really like this one.
Next up is the Pearl to Red color shift. This one also was really, really cool to me. However, it looked more pinkish to me. I don't know if it was maybe because I didn't add enough pigment to this one. I'm not too sure because I left all these out like for the same amount of time. So I'm not really sure. But this one still looks really cool and it definitely did change color. And lastly, the blue to purple UV shift. This one is so, so pretty, and the camera does definitely not do it justice. It looks like all, like, one color on camera, but it definitely did change color, and I freaking love this one. It kind of reminds me of unicorn water, and I really want to stock it in my shop. Comment down below if I should do that and if you would purchase this because I freaking love it. Alrighty, well that was pretty much it for this video. Let me know in the comment section down below which of these pigments were your favorite. I think the blue to purple shift was my favorite. It reminds me of like unicorn water or something like that. I really want to stock it in my shop. If you enjoyed the video before you leave, don't forget to give it a big slimy thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel to become a unicorn. And that is pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all very freaking much. And I will see you all next time. Bye! Hand in hand we run.